they're really hard to track. You can look away for maybe like a few seconds and you look back and they're gone. The rosy wolf snail is an invasive snail predator on the island of Tahiti that has obliterated almost every native tree snail species except one, the white-shelled Perchula hyalina. What's special about the snail? What enabled it to survive when all its close relatives were wiped out? Now we understand why. By employing an array of millimeter-sized smart sensors, a team of University of Michigan biologists and engineers have figured out what is protecting the native tree snails from extinction, the sun. Going back to 1916, American malacologist H. E. Crampton observed that the clear-shelled native species of snails could be found more frequently in places where larger forest trees are fewer, and there is more sunlight. This hypothesis couldn't easily be measured, however, until now. This was really the first deployment of a sensor of this size. We were able to get data that was previously not obtainable. You're putting a sensor right on the shell, and that is giving me a quantitative and actual number how much solar radiation something is getting. The miniaturized solar sensors were built in electrical engineering professor David Blau's lab, also known for creating the world's smallest computer. The sensors recorded that the rosy wolf snail rarely exposed themselves to solar irradiation greater than 3,000 lux, a measurement of total light on a surface. While the native Parchula hyalina survived in edge habitats experiencing light intensities reaching 9,000 lux during midday on average, at times individual sensors recorded up to 71,000 lux. It showed that their hypothesis is very likely true and it's actually shaping now how we might preserve these snail species in the future. Future biological applications for these miniature sensors include monitoring wasp populations, as well as tracking the migration of monarch butterflies.